Hey guys, Mustache here, this time with another Play Arts Kai figure review, this time of the Star Wars Darth Vader figure. As you can see, we get an awesome picture of the variant Darth Vader here. I'm loving this variant Play Arts Kai line. We've gotten the different DC ones, now we're getting the Star Wars one. Darth Vader was number one, as you can see on the box here. And then we're supposed to be getting the Stormtrooper next, as well as Darth Maul down the line. So I can't wait for the rest of the stuff that comes out. So first off, we're looking at the box here. Awesome picture of Darth Vader with his lightsaber. On the side, we do get the Star Wars variant Play Arts Kai on the side. It says number one Darth Vader on the, on the bottom here. And then looking at the back here, we do get another picture. We kind of get that picture we always see with Darth Vader, which is kind of like the front of his mask from the top view. Um, as well as three poses here of the figure. And then... On the other side, we do get the variant Star Wars here again. And then one thing I, uh, I saw that was different, I don't know if they're doing this with all the new um, Play Arts Kais, but they're no longer a um, Velcro here on the side when you try to open the flap. Now it's magnets. So that's very nice because I know a lot of people would have their Velcro come off and stuff like that. So boom, getting this guy open here. So this looks very awesome. We do get a very cool opening here. Um, we do get the variant Darth Vader here. Looks very nice as well as we do get the text here on the side like we usually do. So let me go ahead and try to, I guess, get that in focus here. So maybe if you wanted to look at that, you could pause the video. And there's that. So that's very cool. And then we'll go over to the figure here on this side. So as you can see from the window box, we do get um, quite a few accessories. We do get uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, we do get two sets of hands with one extra hand. We do, uh, or actually two extra hands. We get one of the force hands here. Uh, we do get a very nice picture of the Death Star. And uh, I'm not sure what planet that is. That might be Alderaan right before the... Oh, actually, it wouldn't be Alderaan. That'd be uh, Endor the forest moon of Endor. Um, we do get the swiping lightsaber here as well as a single lightsaber and we do get the figure so let's get this thing unpacked and check him out. So here he is outside the box the Darth Vader variant edition uh, from Play Arts Kai. He looks very awesome he does come with a base here so that's very nice um, if you did want him displayed just like this you can uh, but he does stand pretty well on his own uh, he does come with the accessories as we will go over first, but first off you do get an extra claw to go along with the base here. So I'll just go ahead and dip that to the side. So first off, we do get this very awesome kind of force hand. Um, that's one of the things that I noticed is that like, we've never seen the, the force I guess embodied in a physical form. But it does, I guess, kind of look like this. I like it. It's different to where, like, you can have it in his hand and he can kind of be like, you know, I'm powerful. So that's very cool. We do get uh, these two outreached hands here. Like this. So you can do your force chokes or your force pushes. We do get two hands to hold the lightsaber here. So if we do that, we just go ahead and slip in the lightsaber just like that. As well as we do get another force choke hand here for the other side. So that's very cool. As well as we do get this very awesome lightsaber here. So that's very cool. Uh, kind of show off the, the thwipping or the, uh, the whoosh. So that's very cool. I would love to see this thing, uh, you know, with a light above it to really show off. I think I might have a red light above him to show off how evil he is. So that's very cool that they did the light red here and then the dark red. So that does show off quite a bit. So that's very cool. So that's very nice that you still, you know, get two of these. So that's kind of the difference here. Uh, the one thing I wish was that it came with the unholstered kind of uh, hilt here or the unbladed hilt uh, to maybe put on him but uh, it still looks very cool. 
So let's go ahead and zoom in on this guy and check him out. As you can see here, the detail is great. Looks very cool. I like how they stylized his chest piece to where it's not something so, um, it's a lot more prominent, not so laid back. And then going to the shoulders too, it looks a lot more kind of, um, like a warrior instead of like a, you know, just a commander. And then going to the helmet too, how the kind of rivets are kind of here on the side. And then as you can see too, in the light, the uh, it is painted like a red here. So it kind of does show off the red. And then going down to his waist here. We do see his belt, which is, you know, free, so it doesn't cause any problems there. It does kind of sit on the, uh, this kind of cod piece here, but you kind of have to fiddle with it to have it sit perfectly on there. Like that. And then going down to the legs. You can see, you know, there's a mix of of the shiny with the matte, and it, it really does go very well with the figure. And I'm really glad, you know, a lot of more a lot more companies are getting these Star Wars licenses so that they can do these awesome figures. I wanted to show off this uh, kind of the arms here, and you can see more of the detail in the chest with this kind of strapping, and then how you know shiny and matte the arms are. So we'll go ahead and uh, zoom out here and get into the articulation. So starting off with the top here, taking a look at the articulation. His head does go down about that far, like that. Goes back about that far and has the kind of possibility to go through 60, but it is a little hindered by the helmet. But he can look up like that and look down like that. So that's very nice. Going to the shoulder. Shoulders on a ratchet. It is a little hindered by this little uh, guard piece here, so it goes up about that far. Can do a little more than 90 here. And then going to the wrist, he does do 360 degree at the wrist, of course. And then we do get the front and back swivel. And then he doesn't do any bicep swivel. Uh, it's possible, but it is kind of weird because of the overlapping pieces here. And then you do get a bicep swivel here. So you do have a bicep, an elbow, and a wrist uh, 360 degree, so that's very nice. Going back to the other side, same thing, 360 degree here, up here, more than 90. Uh, you can do 360 degree just like the other one here, and 360 degree at the wrist with the swivel on the ball joint. Going to the abs here, he does have an ab crunch here, but it goes more back than forward because he kind of sits forward. And then going to the waist, the waist is on like a rocker piece here. So that's very nice. It allows you to go like that or come in really down, uh, like he's looking down. Going to the legs here. His leg does come up like that. And then can do the, hit my camera there. More than 90 there, so you can have him jumping. And then going to the bottom here, it is on a ratchet here. It is a little hindered by these guards, but it's still very nice. Uh, I'm not seeing a... It does go about 360 degree most likely, but it is pretty stiff. Sorry if I went out of the frame here. And then going back down. So like I said, ball joint on the... Or, um, ratchet on the knee, as well as on the upper portion here. Going to the back side here, you can't see it because this is kind of covering it, but these capes are on a ball joint as well. I'm glad they didn't go with a single cape design. They went with the double because then when it is together, it looks like a single cape. But then when you want to pose it or put the base in there, you're able to separate it or, you know, stylize it how you want, pit, uh, permitting the scene that you want to make. And then going to the back here, you can see the uh, the waist piece again. 
is able to move freely, so that's very nice. And so that is it for the articulation. So I'll go ahead and uh, pose this guy into the poses and we'll get into the final review. Poses like this make this figure, you know, all the worth it to buy. If you're a Star Wars fan, you know, of course you're going to want to pick this up. I picked up the, uh, the SH figure arts and I'm glad that I have kind of a more around 12th scale figure, you know, of Darth Vader. Uh, I'm loving what they're doing with for all these series, you know, DC, Marvel, uh, Star Wars is really pushing a lot of people to get these figures and you know adding effects like this awesome you know um, lightsaber you know effect is super cool so I'm hoping you know we get a lot more of these figures um, I would love to see what they do to a you know a Luke Skywalker variant or um, you know maybe a Han Solo Han Solo would be pretty cool as well and uh, maybe if we're if we're lucky we'll get a, a Chewbacca and an R2D2 and C3PO but uh, I really love this figure. It's definitely worth it. Um, I got mine at Big Bad Toy Store. I know you can probably pick this up at Anime Jungle or other places like that. Um, the only thing, like I said earlier, I really wish it would have came with just the hilt for the lightsaber. That's something, you know, you, you could have put on there and it would have been something to add to the figure. But it's not something that's ultimately needed. It, it would just be an added effect. So... Moustache again with another Play Arts Kai figure review. Peace.